Hi, I'm Mark Abraham, Mark the Vet, uh, and I'm here in Stoke with Stoke's Labour parliamentary candidate, Mr Rob Flello. Hi, Mark. And ex-rescue dog, Diesel, the German Shepherd, who was rescued from Animal Lifeline here in Stoke. Now, Rob, tell us about dogs. Dogs, well, they're amazing creatures, um, but how badly do we as a nation of animal lovers treat them? We allow puppy farms, we allow fantastic places in one sense, the, the, the animal lifeline type rescue centres, but they shouldn't exist. We shouldn't have thousands and thousands of dogs, many of whom are destroyed every year. Um, so dogs are great, they do wonderful things for us. They have, we have them that sniff out cancer cells. We have dogs that go into burning buildings and rescue people. We have dogs that track out explosives, and yet we seemingly don't care about them. So one of the things I've made as my mission is to really raise the profile of Diesel's having a chill out session. Is, um, is to raise the profile of all these issues relating to, to dog welfare and delighted that you were able to help and support with the All Party uh, Dog Welfare Group. My, Abdog. Abdog. My pleasure, Rob. And I mean, we've been friends for years. Uh, I, I really got to know Rob well in the 2014 Pup Aid um, e petition debate in the main chamber of the House of Commons. Three hours to, to ban the third party sale of puppies so people could only buy direct from the breeder or preferably come to a place like this and rescue one. Um, since then, we've gone on a real journey. Yep. Um, what. How popular are dog issues in your constituency? Well, they are popular. Uh, we get lots of emails, um, but um, at the end of the day, um, sadly, I don't think they're popular enough with the government of the day. And I think uh, the government had the opportunity, as you say, back in 2014, they could have really closed down puppy uh, farms and really addressed the issues of uh, third party sales. Uh, but no, they, they, um, they wimped out, they didn't show any strength at all and, uh, and decided it was something that somebody else would have a problem with and they wouldn't deal with it. So it's an amazingly important issue. Of course, it has that knock-on effect mm -hmm. to so many things. Uh, there's been a link showing that uh, people who are cruel to animals can also be cruel to children and, uh, and vulnerable adults. Um, people who uh, perhaps don't treat our animals properly, uh, you, not surprisingly, they don't really seem to care about people either. Yeah, so it's, you know, dog welfare uh, and animal welfare in general really is a sign of empathy, kindness and compassion. And of course, poorly socialised dogs, uh, for example, puppy farm dogs, irresponsibly bred dogs, aren't just sort of puppies that die quickly mm. and with their mums uh, in horrific conditions. Dogs that make it and potentially are, are nervously aggressive, what yeah. sort of impact can they make on not just other dogs but humans? Absolutely. As well, sadly, all too often we hear about people being bitten or, or worse, uh, seriously attacked or even killed uh, by dogs. I don't think, to my mind, there is such a thing as a dangerous dog. I think there are dangerous owners and there are dogs that, quite frankly, have been treated so badly, uh, either in that early years when the uh, formative stage of a dog or later on, that they become aggressive and. Um, uh, it's a, you know, it's a, just a, a, a disaster for, for everybody concerned, really. So societies involved, dogs are involved, on a, on a wider animal welfare, um, sort of looking at wider issues, ivory trade, yeah. uh, fox hunting, you know, what's Absolutely. going on at the moment in Westminster? Well, you know, I, I, it, it sadly, it's, it, for my mind, it's, it's a, a complete lack of compassion. Um, why would you want to prioritise uh, fox hunting as a vote? There are so many important issues in our country uh, that need addressing. Uh, lifting the ban on fox hunting is not a priority. To my mind, we should never lift the ban, but you know, it certainly isn't a priority. Um, there should be a priority around uh, so many other things. Uh, not least, of course, um, some of the issues around the badger cull. That's something that the, the DEFRA could just finish with now and actually properly invest into um, uh, vaccines. But we have a government that just doesn't seem to put their priorities in the right place. Absolutely. And it's worth noting, it's not all MPs on one side or the no, other that are, that are you know, against all four of these issues. <coughs> There's cross-party support for all of these issues. Yeah, but absolutely. you, Rob, you yeah. Rob, I've got to say, you, Rob, are, are one of the most passionate, uh, caring MPs I've ever met, Thank and you. I've ever campaigned with, who really does prioritise animal welfare. It's as simple as that. Well, that's kind of you. I mean, at the moment, there are no members of parliament. I hope to be re-elected, but you know, ultimately, it's down to the voters of Stoke-on-Trent South on the 8th of June. Uh, but if I am re-elected, you know, we will carry on in parliament to take forward the agenda and make sure that uh, society benefits from a proper policy around animal welfare. Cool. So you heard it, folks. This is Rob Fellow. Uh, Labour parliamentary candidate for Stoke South. If you are in the area, in the constituency, then on June, then on June the 8th, please vote for Rob. You'll be voting for animal welfare, you'll be voting for compassion, kindness, empathy, and, and basically saving animals, just like Diesel here.
Thank you. Cheers, Rob. Thanks very Cheers, much. Cheers, guys. Man.